Oh, good morning, all you lovely people. Welcome back to Grumpy Old Git in the Corner again on a Thursday that is very, very bright out there. Hence, all the curtains drawn because the lighting is terrible in here. You've got reflections of different colours and all sorts of crap. Um, but it is very bright but very, very cold and it is getting colder. Uh, <laughs> brilliant weekend, eh? But uh, thanks to those that dropped in on the live last night. Um, I wasn't <laughs> at my best there. I was uh, quite tired, actually. But it was nice to see everybody. But today, the water authorities, now I talked about these last night. They're up to their old tricks again. Wanting more and more money for more and more failures from what we can all see. You know, this is um, to repair broken infrastructure, put new pipes in, repair old pipes. Um, why has it come to this? Well, because they've made huge amounts of profits over the last few decades. And every single bit of it looks like it's gone in their grubby little pockets. None of it has been reinvested. Uh, improving things, repairing things. And the amount of shit that's being discharged into the rivers now uh, and on the beaches, you know, you've got to think about um, disease. You know, this stuff gets washed up on the banks, washed up on the shores where it festers. So, you know, there's that to think of. I mean... Thames Water is a prime one. I mean, it's reportedly they wanted 40% rise in the bills. Um, effectively, to stop them going bankrupt, I think it was. You know, it, it'd be cheaper to fucking chase your turds away with bottled water. It really would. <laughs> but again, for the uh, overspills, they're blaming excess rain. Well, if we're getting that much, why aren't you storing it? You know, for, for when you say that we haven't fucking got any. You know, you've only got to get a few weeks of warm weather and all of a sudden, oh, there's a big water shortage. Again, because you've pocketed all the money that you were going to build new reservoirs with. So you've got nowhere to keep it if you could get it there. You know, and this is besides all the new housing estates going up everywhere, new businesses that are allegedly popping up, although we're not seeing that many of them, to be honest. Um, this is all a drain on what's existing. They, they just haven't got the resources to supply the new influx. You know, whether it be housing, whether it be people, legal or not, you know, this is a huge, huge increase on demand. And if you can't cope with what we're doing now, or what's happening now, what are you going to do in the future? I haven't heard anybody ask that one. But um, today it looks like Thames Water are in refusing to invest um, 500 million or something in it. Um, until the government stumps up some money. So that just tells you where they're headed. <laughs> you can't believe this shit that goes on. You you couldn't make it up. Um, following on from that now, you've got the uh, cut back on your usage of power. Gas, electric, whatever. But again, is it because the, there's not enough of it to service the new dwellings that they're building? You know, think every single one, every single person that has come into this country will be using electricity in some shape or form. Times that by the amount of new houses and accommodations that you're building for them. Yep, and all this tech that's all being built all around the country and all around the world, don't forget that drains quite a bit of uh, power as well. I haven't brought that into the equation though, have you? But with most countries going back now to their backup of coal-fired power stations, 
uh, including in the EU, we can't because we blew the bastards up. Were they going one step ahead of what uh, the rest of the world were doing? Yeah. But this is another situation that's been brought on by the elites, those idiots in charge. You know, I, how long before we return to the great stink and the return of plague and pestilence? Well, you can certainly smell the shit from Westminster. That, that spreads all over the country, that stink. <laughs> yeah, that's, we'll just have to see what happens there. And I'm hearing now that this country is virtually uh, devoid of defence, shall we say. We've only got enough uh, weapons and munitions, whatever, to defend ourselves for a few weeks and that's it. We're gone. We're out. Plain and simple. They've given all our defensive capabilities away. The money that would have been used to manufacture, buy more, has been soaked up by funding wars all around the country, all around the world. And that leaves us totally defenceless. And while we're in that state, they're going around picking fights with other countries. Yeah, unless something drastically changes, we're fucked. <laughs> we really are. Yeah, we got um, Roland still going on on top of all this that we are stopping the boats. Well, no, it turns out that a record lot have arrived in the first three months of this year with uh, well over four and a half uh, thousand. Probably a lot more over because we know what government figures are like. But uh, they've all been assisted across by the French Navy, Border Force. Um, and if anybody's in doubt of that, then nip over to Reverend Simon Sideways channel. Um, there's actually a short video he did yesterday, I think it was, of radio chatter between the French and the uh, British in the boats. And you can clearly hear what's going on. There is, there's no attempt to stop any of them. But to end with, the ULES boys have found a novel way, the anti ULES boys, I should say, have found a novel way to uh, stop the damaged cameras being repaired in London. Apparently, what they're doing is hanging squirrel nesting boxes on them. Bats, not squirrels. Now, because uh, a squirrel nest is a protected site, bats, fucking bats, not fucking squirrels. Oh, it's illegal to disturb them, whether the bats are home in bed or not. It's still a bat breeding box, so technically, by law, they can't be removed, which means they can't repair the cameras. <laughs> weird well i don't know quite where it would stand they stand with that i mean there are experts that would be uh, able to remove them safely even if they were occupied but how it stands legally still i don't know but anyway guys i'm gonna leave it there for today um there won't be a video tomorrow as i said last night uh, simply because we've got the wedding saturday and we've got a lot to get through tomorrow ready for that um, luckily enough most of the roads will be clear because it'll be good friday everybody will be stuck in traffic jams trying to go away for the weekend <laughs> um, sunday i don't quite know what's happening yet um, i may have enough energy left in me to pop up for an hour live if dan doesn't just to say hi to everybody but we'll see how that goes but until then, have a brilliant Easter weekend. Don't get too cold. Get the sledges out. There is a possibility of snow. <laughs> and don't eat too much chocolate, says him. But until we see each other again, as always, stay safe, stay strong, 
and stay free from the tyranny and the fear. Respects, people.